Welcome back to the CD Genomics's next generation sequencing video series. The topic here is about small RNA sequencing. In the next few minutes, you will learn what small RNA sequencing is, what ligation bias is, how to prepare small RNA libraries, and the workflow of bioinformatics analysis. Small RNAs are less than 200 nt in length, and are usually non-coding RNA molecules. The most focused small RNAs include peewee interacting RNA, small interfering RNA, and microRNAs. These small non-coding RNAs are associated with post-transcriptional gene regulation, through translational repression or RNA interference. RNA interference is the process to guide sequence-specific degradation of target mRNA. Small RNA sequencing represents an increasingly popular approach to address the biological issues of small RNAs. It has become a good standard for both small RNA discovery and small RNA profiling, since they can sequence the entire complement of small RNA, with high throughput and high sensitivity. Compared with microarrays and qPCR, small RNA sequencing doesn't require a prior knowledge of sequence. In addition to the acquirement of the complete range of mRNA and small RNA species, Small RNA sequencing also help understand how post-transcriptional regulation affect phenotype, and identify novel biomarkers. It has been widely applied in cancer and complex disease research. Researchers have gradually found that, the sequencing data containing differential expression of small RNAs is sometimes inconsistent with microarray, qPCR, and northern blot results. This has been primarily attributed to the RNA ligase dependent bias for particular adapter sequences, introduced during small RNA library construction. Studies have suggested that, randomizing the adapter sequences close to the ligation junction can reduce the ligation bias and optimize sequencing results. Bioscientific's NextFlex small RNA sec kit is an excellent kit that reduces ligation-associated bias. This kit utilizes adapters with four anti-random ends, which provides a more even coverage of individual small RNA species. A work by Baran Gay et al. has suggested that the NextFlex protocol is the least biased kit for small RNA sequencing. The workflow of small RNA sequencing generally includes total RNA isolation, small RNA library construction, deep sequencing, and bioinformatics analysis, which is similar to that of RNA-Sec. So you can visit our video The Development and Workflow of RNA-Sec for more information. Here, we primarily focus on small RNA library construction and bioinformatics analysis. The 5' phosphate and 3' hydroxyl groups on the small RNA allow ligases to selectively target and capture these small RNA species. Small RNA library construction typically starts with the ligation of preadenylated DNA adapter to the 3' end of the small RNAs, by using a truncated version of T4 RNA ligase 2 following by the ligation of an RNA adapter to their 5' end using T4 RNA ligase 1. After this ligation, the products can be easily reverse transcribed into cDNA, and amplified according to your research interests. Appropriate size of sequences is then recovered, by bead-based size selection or page purification for deep sequencing. 18 to 30 or 40 BP insert cDNA library is a typical choice, which covers microRNA, small interfering RNA, and peewee interacting RNA. There are many commercially available kits that generate small RNA libraries directly from total RNA sample. Generated libraries from these products are suitable for Illumina sequencing. Different kits may have some different protocols. Please note that sequencing microRNA and mRNA require two separate library protocols, even with the same total RNA sample. After the quality control of small RNA libraries, High throughput sequencing is then performed. Illumina platforms are the most popular instruments for small RNA sequencing.
such as my second high sec. Small RNA sequencing can be used for small RNA clustering, novel small RNA discovery, target prediction, differential expression analysis, evolutionary analysis, and functional analysis. But prior to these, raw sequencing data need to be pre-processed and normalized. The data pre-processing involves removal of adapter and barcode, size selection, removal of complex reads, and the generation of unique reads. Normalization is the process to make expression levels comparable across libraries. RFAM and MyRBase are two common databases for small RNA analysis. RFAM is an open access database providing information about tRNA, rRNA, and snow RNA, etc. MyRBase contains sequences and annotations of all known RNAs across species. In the end, if you want more information about our small RNA sequencing service, please visit our website, www.cd-genomics.com. We are more than happy to be of assistance.